everyone. Good morning. Welcome to today's live stream. I'm so excited that you guys hopped on and joined us this morning because today I'm sharing with you some of my top organization finds. Now, if you're new to watching my live streams, my name's Liz. I have a DIY YouTube channel called Liz from DIY. And I'm um, so happy you're here. I have my content manager with me, Delaney. She is kind of behind the scenes. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just leave them for us in the chat. Um, I would love to know where everybody's joining us from. Delaney and I are based out of Kansas City, Missouri. It's freezing here today. We're talking like, well, see, I say that and then somebody's going to tell me it's colder where they live. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> uh, it's like between like 10 and 20 here. So 10 and 20 degrees. So would love to know. Um, it looks like we already have some people joining us. Wendy and the number one Grammy is joining us on Amazon. Hello. Looks like we have Deborah joining us. Hey, Deborah. We have Kim. Hi, Kim. Kathy. Hello, Kathy. And Judith. Hello, Judith. Now, guys, keep letting us know where you're joining us from. Uh, Delaney will pop those up on the screen as we go along. And yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those for us in the chat. And if you're new to my live streams, I'd love for you to follow us here on Amazon. Delaney and I typically look, go live at least twice a week. We share budget-friendly finds for your home. We share fashion, beauty. Honestly, we share, we kind of cover all the categories, I would say. Um, yeah. Just to kind of depending on the month. And sometimes we just point out our favorites to you. So make sure you go ahead and follow us, and we'll give you a shout-out. Um, let's see. What am I missing? Oh, if you're on YouTube, let's show you how to get over here to Amazon. So there is an arrow on the Amazon link. You can click the link in the description box. It's going to take you to where I'm live streaming. You can unmute me so you can hear me talking. All the products are going to be down below. You can click on any of those products and add them to your cart. Okay. I think I covered it all. Yeah, Excel. we got everything. D&D, hey, good morning from Minnesota and Sonia. Thanks for joining us too. So glad you guys are here. All right, let's get started. Keep telling us where you guys are joining us from. Okay. Um, First up, you guys, now this is something I ordered when Delaney and I were doing our fridge organization. Typically, I do kind of like a fridge organization video in January on my YouTube channel. And so I ordered those and I didn't know how much I would like these, but I really do like these glass containers. Now, these are a set of 12 glass containers. They have screw top lids on them. They have these black lids. You get 12 of them in a pack for the price. But these are great if you buy, like, let's say you buy a big jar of drinks and you want to like parse them out for the week so that you can easily grab and go or your kids can grab and go. You can do that in these jars. Maybe you like to make your own smoothies or maybe you like to make your own coffees and you want those made up ahead of time. These jars are great for it. I love that they're glass instead of plastic. Um, and I've just been able to find a lot of uses for these. So love having this set i feel like they're pretty affordable price is around two dollars a jar i think it's a good price and delaney you always have to remind me on the size on these i always forget these are 16 ounces 16 ounces so great little jars you can see how compact they are in um in my uh Refrigerator. Yes. I was like, what, what am I trying to think of uh, in my refrigerator? And it also cuts down on a lot of plastic waste that we get from individual drinks. So absolutely love those. Um, Roxy, hey, thanks for joining us today. I'm glad you're here. All right. This next item, you guys, this is for any of my friends who have those lazy Susans in in your cabinet, maybe the bottom cabinet. I don't know if you could put it in the top cabinet. You probably could. I have one. And I feel like those are so hard to know how to organize them, put stuff in. So I kind of went on this hunt and I found these off of Amazon. They are clear acrylic. You guys know I love the clear, clear acrylic in the kitchen. I love it for organizing my pantry. I love it for organizing my fridge. So you get four, is it four? I believe it's four of these, Delaney. Yes, it is a set of four. Four, and they fit so nicely. You can see here, I have them on my Lazy Susan. So then you can just organize different things. Like one of them I put towels in, one of them I put oatmeal, I have vitamins in there, and it just keeps things nice and organized because if I don't have these, they just kind of go all over the place and it just, I don't know, it's just never a good option in there. So if you have a Lazy Susan, consider getting these. It's really changed things for me. James, thanks so much for following us here on Amazon. 
Okay, another one of my clear acrylic uh, containers that I know I've shared with you before, but they just are so great. I probably picked these up when I started doing my first fridge organization video on Amazon or on YouTube, which was at least three years ago. And this is still my favorite set. This set is still in my fridge. I use it all the time. Now, this is a set by the brand Green, uh, Green Co. What I like about it is you get a wide variety of containers for a good price. It's under $30 and you're going to get several acrylic containers with this. The first container you're going to get is this container for soda, but you can also use it to divide snacks. You get two of these smaller ones and then you get two of the larger ones. And then it also comes with an egg container as well. So you have all the containers you need. If you need a little bit more, you could consider buying two sets. But the clear acrylic is great for organizing in your pantry as well as your fridge because you can see what's inside. You can see here I put a little label on the front so you can add labels if you want to. They clean up really nicely. And the clear acrylic, it's just going to last for years and years. Like I said, I've had these for three years now and they're still going strong. Yes. Okay. Let me know your name. You like the clear acrylic. Um, you can, yes, yeah, she was talking about, you can use them in your closet. Honestly, you can use them anywhere, your bathroom. I have some other, um, bathroom containers I'm going to show you, but these would work anywhere in your it's home. It's Janice. Janice. Hey, Janice. Um, let's see. Yes. Oh, I love that you guys are talking to us. Hey, Sherry. Thanks, uh, for joining us. Just keep, uh, letting us know where you guys are joining us from. Hey, Janice. All right, you guys, next up are some fridge labels. Now, I actually found these in January because I was looking for some different types of labels. Now, let me tell you why I like these labels. They are restickable fridge labels. Now, I will say the only downside to these labels is they only have 10 different varieties. So if you're looking for like a wide selection of labels, you're not going to find these with these, although I feel like they're going to end up coming out with more but what I do like about them is they're restickable. They are this nice, like thick plastic. They have these pretty labels on the front of them. So I put these in my fridge and I feel like I was able to cover the majority of the areas in my fridge and they just look so pretty. They're in there right now. Um, I love them. Um, you know, as long as my family can learn to put things back. That's the real test. You know, can we put it back where it goes? Um, but you know what? It's fine. Um, I, I try my best to keep them labeled and I do feel like the labels help my kids a little bit to know where things are supposed to go. So I don't know. I try with the labels, but what you can do about these, since they are restickable is you can pull them off to wash the containers. I know some people really don't like those labels that after you wash them, you know, they fall off and you can't put them back on this will give you the option to put them back on. So, and then I think it, we showed you, if you click on the link, you guys, you're going to see all of the different options as far as what they say on them. You have dairy, deli, drinks, eggs, fruit, meals, protein, sauces, spreads, and veggies. The one I was hoping that they had was snacks. I felt like I needed a snack one. Um, but I made some of them work. So these are my fridge labels. They're going to be linked below. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, you need to know how to get over here on Amazon. There is an arrow over here. You're going to click that arrow and then there's going to be a link down in the description box. Click that link where it says shop here. It's going to take you to where we're live streaming. You can follow me here. You can unmute me and shop for all the products. And if you're joining us here on Amazon, make sure you follow us. Delaney and I go live two, at least two times a week, I would say. Sometimes three. All right. Let's talk another organization piece. Now, this is something you may need in uh, your living room or your bedroom. Now, do you have any anything that you plug in that has a cord on the wall? Like maybe your TV has a cord that hangs down and you want to be able to cover that better. Or like in my case, I had some sconces that I hung on the wall that had this white cord and I wanted it to be seamless that you wouldn't be able to see it. So these are wall cord covers. They are plastic and they fit really snugly around the cord. Then on the back, they have a sticky. So you can actually pull the sticky off, place it onto your wall, and you can see how you can even cut these too. So I fed it down the wall and you can put as many on there as you need to. They seamlessly go together and then you just cut it off where you want it to end. So I cut it off right where the plug was. 
If you have a cord for your TV, you could use that as well. You can also paint these, which is a really cool thing too. So like in my case on the wall, I have a white wall, but if you don't have a white wall, maybe you have a blue wall, you could paint these so they blend in well. So I love this. Maybe you got a lot of cords in your office that you want to try to contain a little bit. This is a great option. And these cord covers are 40% off today. I want to give a shout out to I let me I think it's Angel and Candace. Thanks for following us here on Amazon. Candace is from Pennsylvania. Okay, anybody joining us over on YouTube, Delaney? Looks like Kathy says the wind chill is zero degrees in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh yeah, that's not good. It's it was real cold here yesterday, yeah. so I can see how they're getting it. We have Angel saying this is my first time joining your live stream, but I watch your videos from North Carolina. Well, I'm so glad you found us. Hopefully you'll come back for more. So thank you for watching, Angel. And then we have Trinette joining us again from Nashville. Hey, Trinette. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Wendy is asking um, about the Lazy Susan. She said, I see they come in a set of six. I was wanting to fill an entire tier of the Lazy Susan with the bins. Do you think I would need four or six? That's hard to say because I actually, I know they're varying sizes. I have a pretty big one and four maybe covers half of it for me. So I don't know. It just depends on how big it is. I would probably go with the six, but then I don't know. If she orders the four, she may need the four as well. Um, I'm wondering if they could measure it out for you. I, I would probably try to measure um, like the the circumference of your lazy Susan and then see if those measurements match up. That's the only thing I could think of on that. Sonia said she got six and still had room. So you may be two sets of four. I don't yeah. know. It um, might Wendy. depend on, it really does depend on the size of your lazy Susan too. True. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it could be smaller. Yeah. I could see it taking eight if you needed it. I just put four on mine and then the other side, I had some other things that I didn't want them in a bin. So just kind of depends on your, on what you're needing. All right, let me show you um, something I really like for the kitchen or maybe in a room where you don't have um, a nightstand, but you want to be able to charge. This is one of my favorite outlet socket chargers. It has three outlets. So you get two on the sides, one on the front. It also has two USB ports. But what I love about it is this shelf up top. You can place your phone on here and you can even hook your charger on the side here so that you can charge your phone. So like think about plugging this into your kitchen. You don't have to worry about phones sitting all on your countertops. It can all charge up here. It also has a nightlight on the front with a dimmable switch. So this is such a cool little piece. Um, and you get a pack of two with this. Now to go along with this, I when I got these, I didn't really want them to have super long cords. So I found this set of one foot iPhone charging cords. They come in a pack of five. And this is what I use to plug in the USB port. So it's just a, a small little cord. Um, so if you're looking for a small cord, these are some of my favorites for charging cables. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that is a look at the one foot cord and how it looks all kind of put together. So you could just plug your phone in there. Um, you know, if you're somebody who likes a long cord, definitely not a thing. But if you're keeping them out on your kitchen counter and you know it's just going to stay there on the charger, it's great. I love these. I actually ordered another set because I'm setting up another charging station and a new project I'll be showing you guys soon. And I needed another set of these. So love those a lot. Okay, now this next item, you guys, this was actually, I think, on my bestseller list back in December. I think these were, weren't these yes, one of our most were. popular items? So these are pretty cool, you guys. So these are, I don't even know the name of them. I call them these tooth. These are rolling, it says rolling tube toothpaste squeezer. Got it. Okay, so you get three for under $6. So let me show you what you're going to do with these. So you take the little key out and you place it on the bottom of your toothpaste. Then you're going to put the key back into this white stand. Now the point of this is that it's supposed to squeeze every little last bit of toothpaste out of your container. So what you're gonna do is take your key and you're going to twist it up until the product starts to come out the top. So anytime you wanna use your toothpaste, you just open it up, twist it a little bit, and toothpaste will come out the top, and then you can use it and put the cap back on. This stays on your toothpaste the entire time you're using it. 
and then it will you'll just continue to use it that way you don't have to re-squeeze up your toothpaste every time you use it and then when you get to the very end you just take it off and you'll have used all the product so if you're somebody who loves to use all the product this is a great option i also feel like it's a time saver because you don't have to be constantly squeezing your toothpaste every morning so you can get a pack of three of these for under six dollars so love those i have one on my toothpaste right now and i use it all the time they do have different colors and shapes on these now which i think is a new oh. option that wasn't there before so if okay. you are wanting like different colors or a different shape they have more like square shaped ones but yeah. i think the square ones would be really cute you can get those as well now yeah love that oh, it looks like sherry says i bought those toothpaste holders for christmas and gave two to each family household in my family yes and then melissa says i got the toothpaste squeezer i love it i saved toothpaste and it looks way better standing up on the counter yeah especially yeah if you i didn't think about that melissa if you're leaving it out and i feel like it saves time because i know me i'm like one of those i have to get every last drop out so i would like you know sit there for like 10 seconds and just really you know push the toothpaste out i don't do that anymore <laughs> wanted so, to give a couple yeah. shout outs on youtube as well we have cole from kansas city hey cole thanks for joining us we have debbie from virginia hey debbie we have lori from overland park hey, kansas lori. lori's close by no we have a lot of local people kim hey kim like kim is from harrisburg pennsylvania hello and then gloria says that they were born in kansas city but they live in arkansas now Cool. Hey, Gloria, thanks for watching today. All right, you guys, I'm so glad you're here. And um, thanks for watching us here on Amazon as well. Make sure you're following us here on Amazon. We go live a couple times each week. All right, let's stay in the bathroom because I have a few more items to share with you. All right, so for my shower, um, I have a, a suction cup that I really like to use on my walls. Now, this suction cup I think is great for hanging loofahs. It's also great for hanging razors as well. You get a set of two plastic ones. You just suction them right onto your shower wall and you press it down. You can hang your razor on there. You can hang, hang your loofah. And I love that they're clear because I feel like they just kind of blend into the wall. You don't really see them and they're not you know, too in your face. So love those if you're needing some kind of suction cup for your shower or your bathroom. Now, another thing that I did, it's a little extra, but I actually did it in a guest room. Um, I found this set of um, shampoo bottles. They come in a set of three. Now, you can hang these on your wall. I did not hang them on my wall. I actually just have them sitting out, but they do have, like you can see there, that black piece. That is so you can hang them on the wall. It also comes with a funnel, so you can add on there, um, you can add any liquid you want in there. You can buy shampoo in bulk and add it on there. And then each of them come with their own label. So you can, there's a bunch of different varieties. So you can do shampoo, conditioner, body wash. There's even one for like a hand lotion if you wanted to do, um, uh, hand soap as well so you can customize it with its own labels so this is a set of three just really pretty bottles and i think it's great in the guest room i'm showing you guys the suction cup clip you can see those in the background yes. of the suction cup clip yes and as I, well yeah see i have so many i have a bunch of those like shelves in my shower so that's why i didn't hang mine on the wall because i had a shelf that i could put them on but you can if you need to do that it looks like Janice says, I just bought these bottles. Fabulous idea. Can't wait to get them for my shower. Awesome, Janice. Dana, thanks for following us here on Amazon. All right, you guys, another item that I use whenever I'm getting ready in the morning, I love to have my phone propped up. I like to watch YouTube, you know, just different things like that. And so this phone proper, you can actually put onto the mirror in your bathroom. It's called a phone cradle and you just pull the sticky off the back of it and you can stick it to your mirror i love that it's sticky and removable so if you need to remove it you can then you can just set your phone in there you can set it in vertically you can also set it in horizontally depending on what you're watching and that's you know just a nice way that i can have my phone sitting up and watching it while i'm getting ready in the morning so love that if you're needing a phone holder this is a great option do really enjoy that 
I would say these next items are some of our newer this year items that we picked up, Delaney. Don't you think this? Yes. I don't know if we've shown these a lot or if we've shown them at all. I think we've shown them once. Okay. And we did, we have a, a YouTube video where we have these in, but these are definitely not been around a while. So I found these, you guys, these are so cute. These would be great in a kid's room and a kid's bathroom. They are multi-purpose hooks. They come in a pack of six, and I just think they are adorable. Again, they stick to the wall, um, so you don't have to worry about screwing them in or anything like that. And you can place them on the wall. Now, I thought these would be great in the bathroom to put in like a hairbrush, a tooth, you know, toothbrush. And but they also show Delaney, you might have to show me what is on the clip because I know they showed doing like you could put them in a kitchen and put a hand towel. If you had a small kitchen or maybe an RV, these would be great for hanging hand towels. Yeah, so we were just showing them in a bathroom, but you can use them in any room in your home. If you guys click on that link, you'll see all the different options that they're using it for. They use it for cords, for electronics, maybe in like a bedroom or a living room or an office. You can also use it in your kitchen to hold like your dish scrubber or like, it looks like they have like a potato peeler on it. So maybe mm -hmm. if you have utensils you use a lot, like a spatula, you could just set it there. If it's dirty, it'll keep it clean by sitting on that hook or you could go the bathroom route like we did. It really holds anything, honestly, like towels, toothbrushes, razors. If you click on that link, you'll see all the options. Now we have them in cream, but I believe they come in other colors too. Yes, they do come in other colors. You can buy them in a pack of six or a pack of four. You can get black, cream, turquoise. There's multicolor options, pink, gray, yellow, all yeah. sorts of different colors on this one. Sherry said she got these the last time we showed them and loved them. They, I just think they're really fun. And I feel like they're one of those hooks that have a, they're really multi-purpose and they seem to hold the items pretty well too. So thanks for, I love when you guys let us know the things you've gotten and what's working for you. All right, next up, you guys, I was looking for a way to better organize my blow dryer underneath my sink. I pull out there's three things I pull out. I always pull out my blow dryer, my curling iron, and my flat iron. And so I'm like, why do I have these kind of tucked away? I want them readily available. So I found this set that actually sits right at the beginning of, you know, I open it up and it's right there. You guys can see it. The blow dryer goes in the middle, curling iron on one side, straightener on the other side. And this stands up so well. This has been working out great. I've, now, I've had this now up maybe two months love it now i got the black one but it comes in a bunch of different colors so you can pick which color works for you i was telling delaney once i saw it underneath my sink i'm like why didn't i get silver all my other baskets are silver <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know it's kind of its own thing this works great and it's honestly by one of our favorite organization brands on amazon the m design they have some great affordable options so if you're needing something to get those hot tools organized maybe for your daughter um this i think is a really neat thing and especially if you have the space for it you know i think a lot of us just would love to have drawers but we don't we have cabinets in our bathroom and they just don't have the same amount of storage oh martha says they have the same one they put their blow dryer a brush and a straightener in there that's perfect yeah and this is actually 18 percent off today you guys if you are interested Going back to the oh, hooks real yeah, quick, Melissa left a really nice comment. Melissa says, I love those hooks. I found them recently because I was looking for a toothbrush holder for the shower that doesn't accumulate accumulate water. Uh -huh. My kids needed it because they brush their teeth in the shower. Yeah, I, you know, I was wondering. I haven't put I mine in the shower, but I think they would be great in the shower. So, Melissa, thanks for letting us know that those work in the shower. Yeah, they're just really cool. I feel like I could find lots of uses for them. Hey, Rhonda, thanks for following us here on Amazon. You guys, make sure you hit the follow button if you're not already following us here. So just, you just get notified when we live stream, so it's an easy way to know, hey, Liz is live streaming. I may want to go watch. All right, so let's talk about uh, this next item. This is a laundry hamper. I put this in a YouTube video in November, December, um, but I was looking for a um not so big uh laundry hamper i feel like i just don't have room in my closet for a big laundry hamper i love this one it's canvas you just put these little i i look at them as like tent stakes you know because i camp a lot but they look like tent stakes and you just put them on the corners and it holds it up in place but it's really compact so if you don't have a lot of room 
for a laundry hamper, consider this one. Now we have the cream one. Does it come in other colors? I would think it might. Let me check. I don't actually know if it does. Oh yeah. It also comes in black and gray. Oh, cool. So it's got some nice handles to it too. It would also be great if you like to keep a laundry hamper in a bathroom. Um, I have one similar to this. It's not this one that I actually put on the back of my kids. I actually hang it um, on the back of their door and it hangs really nicely. And you can see this one has two longer hooks on the side and then you got two small hooks. So um, a good option if you're needing one. Looks like Janice has this hamper and loves it as well. Oh, awesome. That's good to know. Perfect. Okay, let me show, I want to show you a few of my closet items. We're kind of getting to that closet um, option. So this next one I got because I could never find my tank tops, you guys, and my bras. So I was trying to find a better solution for it. I found this pack of two hangers. Now this comes down and you can put all of your tank tops on there. You can put, I think, I think it's eight on each one, but it's got these nice like curved hooks on either side. So it's going to stay on there. And then I like how you can see them all when it's hanging there and it's super compact. I can just put it on the edge of my closet and all my tank tops are there. I've been using this now a few months and it works pretty well. I will say sometimes I get a little lazy and I'll just kind of hook them on the edge. So I need to be better about like, you know, completely putting them on there. But if you're needing something, if you have a bunch of tank tops that either in a drawer and you never see them or you have a hard time finding them, um, this is a good option. Okay, another item that I've used, I've used this item in my closet. I've also used it in my RV, but this would be great in a living room. Now, this is a wall-mounted remote storage. Um, it has a sticky on the back. It comes in a pack of two. You can put it on the wall. Now, in my closet here, I was using it as a phone holder because every time I go into my closet, I always lose my phone. So I thought I could place my phone in there because I'm always walking around with my phone, like listening to podcasts. And so I could put my phone in there um, or you could put small items if you need to. We also use it in the RV um, right next to our couch to store all the remotes because in an RV, um, things move around a lot. So you kind of have to have storage for that. So that's a great option. Maybe you want to use it in your kid's room. Maybe they have something next to their bedside that they need to keep on there, or you want to use it in your living room for remotes as well. Maybe you guys have young kids and you tend to lose your remotes. This is a good option. Sherry okay. had a question. Sherry wants to know if we have the dimensions of the laundry hamper we were showing early earlier. If you guys want dimensions for anything, just click on the links for those and it's going to be in the description. So if you're wondering if any of this is going to fit in your home or sizes on anything, just click on those links and you'll get all the info. Sounds good. Okay. Another closet. We got a lot of closet organization to share with you guys. Okay. This next item is it comes in a pack of four and this is a hook system for storing. You could store a lot of things on it, but for me, the best thing to store is purses. So I'm showing you here, it's a 360 degree hook. It also hooks on a lot better than a normal hook. Like you kind of have to like press it down on there, um, but it's great for storing your bags. You can see here I, how I have my purses. So if you don't know exactly where to put your purses in your closet, this would be a good option. And you get a pack of four. So I didn't need a ton in my closet. So I gave one to both of my girls and they have it for storing their purses in their room. So love that if you're needing purse storage. Now this next item, I don't know if this was one of our best sellers. I know it's one I get really excited about, um, the laundry soap organizer. I don't, I think it was in our top 20. Yeah, I think so It was so in too. our top 20, not our top 10 when okay. I was looking at the list. Okay. Now, if you guys are like me and you buy big laundry soap containers from Costco, you know that when you turn it on the side, that cup gets all gunky and messed up and you usually end up getting laundry soap that just kind of falls out. So this is a raised plastic white shelf that you can let sit out all the time and you keep your laundry soap on the side like I have it right there. Then whenever you need to use the soap, you just put it into the cup, put it, you know, put your cup in the laundry so you can, you know, wash your laundry. Then you take the cup and you put it right back on that lower shelf there. So anything that's going to drip out is always going to go in the cup. 
It's going to prevent mess. You don't have to put that cup back on the spout and it gets all gross and stuff. Like for a while, I stopped buying these big laundry soap things because I was just like, I can't handle this mess. Um, but when I found this, I thought this was the perfect solution. So if you have, um, you know, those big soap containers and have that mess problem, this is a great option. Bethany, Melody, thanks for following us here on Amazon. Now, another thing that I love to do in my closet is use the black velvet hangers. Now, you can get them pretty affordable, but I'm telling you, I used to use the white hangers, and these just stay. Like, when I use these, my clothes stay on there so much better. They don't fall off, um, and you all, they just they take up less room because they're a lot, you know, they're not as thick as the white hangers and they just make everything look nice in there. So I've actually changed my closet over to these slowly but surely, but I absolutely love these. So if you've never tried the black hangers, they're pretty nice. Um, maybe something like I did where you kind of switch over time, but they just work so much better um, than those regular, like I guess they're white white hangers, if, if you can do it. All right, next up you guys, I actually have two battery organizers to share with you because Honestly, we sell a lot of these battery organizers, um, but they both are kind of different. So I'm going to show you the one, like why you would need different ones. Okay, so this first battery, and I will say the battery organizers are on pretty good sale right now. They are 28% off. So if you have one, and but maybe need one for a gift, I feel like it would be a good time to pick one up. Okay, so this is the first one. This is our largest battery organizer. It's shaped kind of like a toolbox and it opens on the front. Let's just show them the clip delaney so they can see it. I feel like you can see it better that way, but it's clear on both sides. Um, when you open it up, it has so much storage in it for all of your battery sizes. You can put your A's, you know, your C's, your D batteries. You can put the specialty batteries in there. There's even a battery tester as well. On the back side, it has so much room for like additional AA batteries. Like, so if you need to store a lot of batteries, this is a, gr a great option. If you're wanting something with a nice handle, this would be great. I th like where I think I would like this the most would be someplace like my RV, um, you know, because it has that handle to it. If you're going to have to transport it anywhere, this is a good option. Now we have it in blue, but I, it does come in other colors as well. Yes, it comes in a couple different colors you can get for that as well. I think red, green. Let me see what else there is. Oh, yeah. Red, green. There's a gray, looks like there's a purple. The cool thing about this as well is you can buy it with batteries that come with it already. Mm -hmm. So when you order it, you can order like AAA, D batteries, AA, and those. Especially that works well if it's a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just send it with the batteries already in it. Yeah. Christine, thanks for following us here on Amazon. All right, so, so that is our larger battery organizer. Now our one that's a little bit smaller, and this is Actually the one I prefer if you have a tight space maybe you just need to put it in a cabinet or like a small drawer because you don't have a lot of room this is the one you want to get now this is going to store quite a bit of batteries but not like as many as this one um, but for me this is plenty so it has a clear topper that you can just lift up Again, you can store all sizes of batteries. It also has that area for the specialty batteries. I feel like the specialty batteries, I feel like we get so many more of those round batteries now. Mm -hmm. um, and they all need to go over here. It's got the same juice tester. It's got the lid, but I can just put mine easily into a cabinet like this. This also has um, where you can hang it on the wall. So it comes with screws. If you wanna hang this on your wall, um, you could do that as well. So those are our two options. Let us know what you guys think, uh, which battery organizer you prefer. You like the blue one or the black one? We'd love to know your opinion. Delaney, what do you think? I think for me, I'm on, like, I like the black one just because I don't have a ton of space. I like the blue one because it has a handle. Yeah. That's the thing for me is the handle. I feel like it's way easier to carry around your home. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, let us know. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Um, okay. Um, I have a few more bathroom organizers, but honestly, I say they're for the bathroom, but you could really use them anywhere. That's just kind of where I choose to use them. Now, this is a set of acrylic drawers. 
Um, they stack on top of each other and you're going to get two with this set. And they, if you open it up like this, um, you could see that there's a clear drawer on the top and a clear drawer on the bottom. I love these for makeup. I love them for nail polish. Anything that I need to see what's inside, these are great. They also stack. So you can put two on top of each other. If you wanted to double up and get four of these, you could stack them all the way up. The other cool thing about these is you can pull the drawer completely out. So let's say you keep this underneath your sink, but you want to put your makeup in there. You could pull your makeup out and get ready at your vanity, and then you could stick it right back inside. So this is a great organizer. You could also put this underneath your sink, put um, maybe your dishwashing pods in the top one, some of your like scrubbing uh sponges in the bottom and this would be great i know like under my sink i don't have any um, shelves or anything so you could stack maybe three of these tall and this would look so organized and nice so um another great option and i feel like for an acrylic organizer it's pretty well priced another item that i like for the bathroom is this organizer right here so it's white on the outside and then it's got a clear top when you open it up, see it's got this little like pink tab here. You open it up, it's got a divider in the middle and I just have cotton pads in one side and I have Q-tips on the other side so you can keep it nice and organized. I don't know, for me, this is such a bathroom container. I don't know, could you see this anywhere else in the house? I don't know, it doesn't really work for kitchen for me. I feel like it would only, if I could see like craft room maybe mm -hmm. or something where you have a lot of tiny. Yeah objects that you need to organize. I feel like that's what this organizer is really good for, but it is in the description. You'll see it's kind of intended as a Q-tip cotton pad holder. Yeah. My favorite part about it is just how easy it opens. Um, and if, when I'm getting a Q-tip or a cotton pad, I don't want to be fumbling around. So I just love that I could just, just gently go like this and get what I need out. So love that. If you're needing some bathroom organizers, those are good options. Now we did talk a little bit earlier, people you know, were talking about shower organization, and this might even have been a good shower organizer. I have this in my shower, and this is a toothbrush holder for your shower. It has a sticky base to it, and you just put it onto um, your wall. You can put your toothbrushes in there. I actually use it to store my razor, my loofahs, and all of my face washes. Um, so you can put a variety of things in there depending on what your needs are in those two little tubes, you could put your toothpaste in there. So if you like having the toothbrush in the shower, this is a good option. You could even put it out on your mirror if you didn't want to put it in your shower. Oh, going back to that acrylic organizer we just showed, Rosary said that the tea bags in the kitchen would work great in there. And I agree that would be oh, a yeah. great tea bag organizer. Yeah, that is true. I didn't even think about that. That's a good Thank you guys have the best ideas. All right. Next up, you guys. Okay, so before we were live streaming, Delaney said that the three in one is sold out and we just have the two in one yes, of this. Yeah, yeah. The video shows both of them, but right now only the two in one is in stock. Yes. So you guys, this is the two in one bamboo organizer for all of your wraps. So your plastic wraps, your um Foil, I use foil, you could use parchment paper in there, but this is great. So what you do is you pull it out and this goes into your drawer. Before you place it in your drawer, you can put, there's like a little um, door on the side. You can pull that door off and then you're going to pull your tin foil, your parchment paper out of um, the boxes and you're going to slip them into the side. Now you can put this in your drawer. You can also hang it on the wall if you want, um, but you just slip them in the side like that and then you'll put the door back on. Then what you'll do is just gently pull up through the middle each of the papers. There is a cutter on the top so you can easily um, pull it across and cut it. So it just makes all of your um, different papers just look so much nicer in the drawer. Um, and then when you run out, you just refill them. So love that if you're looking for a really pretty way to organize these in your um, in your drawers. And then you can also add labels to them as well. So love those. Okay. Um, that And right now, you guys, so the three-in-one we just found out is 
um, out of stock right now, but you could get the two in one option. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk a few more kitchen organization ideas. I want to tell uh, Christine and Thomas, thanks for following us here on Amazon. Make sure you guys are following us. We go live two times a week. All right. Next up is my pan organizer. So I'm always trying to get pans organized, pots organized. Uh, so I found this. And when I saw it online, see how it's standing up tall? Well, it didn't fit into my cabinet that way. So I actually put it down on its side and that works great. Um, on its side, I can put in three different, or sorry, sorry, not three, four different pans. You could also use this to organize your lids. I have had this now in my cabinet for at least two years. It's still there, it's sturdy, it works really well. So if you have pans all over the place, if you have, and also the other thing it makes me do is it makes me only keep the pans I really use because I put the four pans I use the most over here. Anything that's a little bit smaller or bigger, like my larger pans, I keep to the side, but like my smaller everyday pans, I put in that container. Um, so love that for organizing the pans. We have a comment from Christy. Christy is joining us from South Carolina, hey, and it looks Christy. like they are letting us know all of the things they're going to be buying. The blue battery organizer, the hooks we showed earlier on, and then the hanger for the tank tops. Yes. I love it. And we appreciate when you guys order through our links and check out during our live stream. It does help us out, so we do appreciate that when you do that. And Christy, I'm so glad you were able to find some good stuff today. All right, let's talk about this next set. Now, this is probably my prettiest organization item that I have. And it's this set of four glass containers with these cork balls. Now these are not airtight, so I don't use these in my kitchen. I could use them in my kitchen with non-perishable items, but I prefer to use them in a bathroom. You can use them to organize your Q-tips, just different things. Like this is in a guest bathroom, so I just put different items that a guest might need. I got some toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, you know, cotton balls, and then the little flossers, and I put them in there. I love how all four of these just work really well together. I feel like the heights of them are really pretty and aesthetic. So I absolutely love this set. So if you're needing a pretty set of organizers, this is definitely the one. Now going back to the kitchen, um, this next item has probably been another one of my favorite items. I have two sets of these, and these are our water bottle holders. Now, you get um, a set of six, and they do stack on top of each other. But if you have a cabinet or drawer where water bottles just roll all over the place, you need these. They are so great. They fit, you know, larger water bottles like my kids, you know, like the 40 ounce, you know, kind of hydro flask, like those will fit in there. Um, any water bottle will really fit in there, um, but these are great. They hold all the water bottles in place, and I also feel like it keeps us from not having too many water bottles because when it overfills, then they start stacking them up in front there, and I'm like, okay, maybe we need to like, you know, go through our water bottles and get through the ones you guys aren't using anymore. Um, but this has five stars on Amazon, so this is really nice if you're needing water bottle storage. All right, I want to show you guys my outfit today, and we have um, kind of all the pieces together. So I'm going to kind of walk you through my outfit today. Maybe we'll show them the big clip, Delaney, and then we can break down each piece. Do you want to do that? Yep. Okay. So this is a look at my outfit, um, and I'll just show you all the different pieces. First, I'm wearing these stud earrings. These are some of my favorite earrings. They have this wrap chain on them. Every time I wear these, I feel like I get a ton of compliments. I have my belt bag on. This is my beige fleece line belt bag. I also have it in white. And then this pretty garden zip up hoodie. I feel like I grab this all the time. I almost need to buy this in another color. And then since it's so cold here, I've been wearing these fleece lined leggings. They help keep you nice and warm. Um, I wore them all over New York when I went there over the holidays and stayed really warm. And then my shoes are the New Balance women's shoes. And then underneath my shoes, I have on um, my ped socks. And then to stay nice and warm, this Orlay coat. 
this one is my this is my warmest coat like i when i need a warm coat this is one i put on since i used to be a teacher me and my friends will we always call it our recess duty coat or coat <laughs> you know that's always like your coat when you're like really needing to stay warm but love all those so to show you each of those pieces one by one um the earrings we'll show you those up close so you guys can see those these they're very subtle but different and i have them in the gold and they're just really pretty they've you know held up really well if you're looking for a unique earring i think these would be a great option um to give to anyone on your list love those now as far as this belt bag this is a Sherpa belt bag. I have it in white, but then I loved it so much. I wore it pretty much for two months straight. So I wanted to get this one. This is a Lululemon dupe bag. But what makes this one different is it's got a really pretty gold zipper. It's got this nice gold clasp on it as well. And I love wearing these. I mean, I can fit all of my stuff in there and just love them. And then my top, I wear this a lot of times with jeans. I also like to wear it with leggings. Um, it's just a really pretty zip up. It's got a pocket in the front, which is nice. I usually wear or like go a size up just to kind of wear my sweatshirts a little bit oversized, but I love it. I also love that it doesn't have a hood um, because with long hair, hoods just don't work as well. So I like that it doesn't have a hood, um, but it's a really pretty zip up. And then again, these pants, you guys, my leggings, I have two pairs of these leggings and then I bought a pair for my daughter we just love them. Um, they are fleece lined. They're not too hot. The waistband is not too tight. I don't like it when the waistbands are too tight. They're just perfect. They're very comfy. You barely feel like you're wearing them. Um, and they just work really well, but they have, they have enough. I don't know if this makes sense, but they have enough fleece lining to where you stay warm, but when you're inside, you're not burning up, if that makes sense. Um, so love those if you're looking for some fleece lined leggings. And then my shoes, I always forget the number on the shoes that they wear. It's the 327 the three, Classic. Yeah, the Classic 327s. Uh, mine are in this cream color. They're, I love a New Balance shoe, um, but these are some of my new favorites. Now, under my shoes, I like to wear, um, under my shoes, I like to wear these no-show socks. These, are, uh, I talk about them a lot, but they are by the brand Peds. And they come in a pack of six, but they have this thing called gel trim in them that helps them to stay up around your ankle so much better than I would say any traditional sock that I wear. So I love these. Anytime I'm wearing like a tennis shoe like that, like a low rise tennis shoes, I like to put these on. So these are a great option and they're fairly affordable. Now, underneath all this, I have a bra that I've been wearing quite a bit. It's kind of like a sports bra tank, um, but it's really, you know, inexpensive. It's pretty and you can get it in a variety of colors. I actually have four of these and wear them kind of interchangeably underneath my sweatshirts. And then I'll also show you guys up close with my coat that I wear. This is the Orle coat. This is a very viral coat. I have it in black, but it comes in a bunch of colors. And here are some features I love about this. One, it is so warm. It's warmer than my North Face coats. It's warmer than, I have a like a Patagonia coat. It's warmer than that. The other cool thing about this, it has a million pockets. If you're needing to put a lot of things in your pockets, there's like that one, there's a side pocket, and then you get this top pocket here. So that was really cool when I was in New York. I was I loved that I had so many pockets because I could put all the things I need. It also has a zip on the side to make it expand. Um, I kind of wish I would have gotten it in one of the colors. I like the black, but I feel like one of the colors would have been cute as well. Uh, so it's a great coat if you're needing a coat option. Okay. All right, you guys. So if you're over on YouTube, I'd love for you guys to come over and add any of the items in our stream to your cart. Um, there's an arrow over the side here. The link is going to be out in the description box. Click the link take you over to where we're streaming and then you'll see all of the items in the carousel you can click on them add them to your cart and yeah uh yes yeah, so a lot of uh yeah people are saying they like the coat and i hope you guys were able to find some good 
organization that maybe would work in your home. Even if you didn't find something you like, I hope I gave you some ideas for organization you already have. Um, and I just thank you guys for joining us and taking the time out of your day to watch the stream. And we will talk to you in our next live. Bye.